The DC Universe is as vast as our universe, which is to say it's all but infinite, and it also has a lot more alien species than ours, at least as far as we know. There are literally thousands, probably tens of thousands if not more, and they come in all shapes and sizes with a vast array of abilities and superpowers. Which does beg the question, which one of these species is the most powerful? So this video is going to go over the 5 most powerful species in the DC Universe and we'll have a look at the powers that they actually possess. Now when I say most powerful species, I mean in terms of abilities and superpowers that they naturally have. We're not going to include technology, armies, empire size or anything like that. This is just the abilities they have with their bodies. And we're also not going to be including the Atlanteans or the Amazons, as some continuities do list them as aliens. But for this video, I'm counting them as being Earthlings. And we're also not going to be counting cosmic beings such as the Monitor or Perpetua, because I can't really list them as a species, at least not in the conventional sense anyway. And their power level is also impossible to truly quantify and gauge, because it's just so crazy strong. I mean seriously, how do you measure the powers of a god? And with that out of the way, let's get started. Starro One of the deadliest and most powerful aliens that there are, the Starro mothers grow to an enormous size, some have even been known to grow as big as a planet, and they shed mind control spores like we shed skin cells, and these spores latch onto the faces of pretty much all life forms and allow Starro to control their minds and their bodies. Even Superman has been mind controlled by these mighty creatures and they have taken over entire species and entire planets. And not only have they conquered planets, but they've conquered entire solar systems. The most powerful Starro once controlled five separate galaxies. Well, if we actually look at it fully, this Starro was actually being mind controlled by someone else, but still, it was the Starro's powers that allowed him to control all of these species across these five galaxies. And all of this means that the Starro have insane levels of power because they're actually able to draw strength from all of those that are connected through these Starro spores, which in this case was likely trillions of life forms. Although I do have to say that's not always true in every continuity, but it has been true in the main DC universe. And even on their own, these Starros are pretty strong creatures. I mean, like I said, some are as big as a planet. They are super strong, they can fly through space at high speeds, have telepathic powers, including, quite obviously, mind control, and they are able to regenerate their bodies from almost any injury. A Starro can be practically vaporized, but if even one tiny part of the Starro survives, then they can regenerate their entire body just from this small piece. But they are in last place because they lack some of the truly amazing superpowers of the others on this list. And their strength mainly comes down to their numbers, and of course also depends who they're latched onto. I mean, if they were latched on some normal humans without superpowers, they're not really that strong. But if they were latched onto a load of Kryptonians, well then they'd be a hell of a lot stronger. The New Gods Now this is a species that are very varied in both abilities and power levels. They're kind of like a species made of X-Men, each with their own unique mutation, except that each member of the New Gods also seems to be immortal on top of their powers. Though that just seems to mean that they won't die of old age and are extremely difficult to injure and kill. Though again, some are harder to injure than others. In the deep end, we have Darkseid and Highfather, who are insanely powerful leaders of their planets, who are hundreds of thousands of years old. Then in the shallow end, we have Scott Free, who seems to have heightened strength and skills, but no other powers. He's kind of on par with Spider-Man's level of power, though not exactly the same levels of strength or skill. But basically, this is a species where a new child can have any level of power, from being one of the strongest in the galaxy, to just being slightly stronger than most humans. But to be fair, there's still no such thing as a weak new god, since even the weak ones are still stronger than most species, and are definitely stronger than any baseline human. But because of this drastic difference in power levels, it was hard to know where to stick them on this list, and I would have liked to put them higher up, after all beings like Darkseid are insanely powerful. But because a lot of the new gods are actually on the weaker end of the spectrum, I've had to put them further down. Kryptonians slash Daxamites now I've put these two species together because in terms of powers, they are basically the same. Now on their own, they are technically speaking, nothing special, and they have pretty much the same level of powers as a normal human does. But with access to a yellow sun, they get the superpowers of a god. 
super strength, flight, invulnerability, heat vision, x-ray vision, micro and zoom visions, freeze breath, super speed, rapid healing, and slowed aging. In some cases, allowing them to live for thousands of years. So all in all, a pretty powerful couple of species. And every single member of their species has these powers. Heck, even their dogs have these superpowers. And if you put them near a blue sun, they become even more powerful. In fact, when they're next to a blue sun, they're probably the most powerful species in the universe. And they would actually be first on this list, if not for the fact that without access to a yellow or blue sun, they're basically powerless. And basically the same as a human being in terms of strength and abilities. So this drastically lowers their worth. After all, even humans can be insanely powerful if given the right strength enhancers. Just look at virtually every superhuman ever. But since the whole species has the same power-up ability, and that the power itself is of such a high degree, and of course the fact that yellow and blue sunlight is pretty much everywhere in the universe, and incredibly easy to get access to, well, they definitely deserve their place on this list. Which is why I've put them in the middle, because they are simultaneously the most powerful and least powerful ones on this list, depending if they're under a red sun, a yellow sun, or a blue sun with red being the weakest and blue being the strongest. And their only actual weaknesses are magic, which pretty much everyone is vulnerable to, and kryptonite for kryptonians, and lead for daxamites. Lead basically affects them the same way that kryptonite affects kryptonians. Except for the fact that lead is a hell of a lot more common in the universe, so this is actually a very major weakness. But even still, their power levels are so insanely high that they more than make up for this handicap. Martians. Now, Martians have all the powers of Superman and more, including shape-shifting, telepathy, telekinesis, the power to turn visible, or at least blend into their background, regeneration, phasing, and like Kryptonians, they can fly, have super speed, durability, x-ray vision, heat vision, and enhanced senses. So not only do they have more powers than Kryptonians and Daxamites, but unlike them, their powers aren't dependent on yellow or blue sunlight they have them permanently, and they can also live for hundreds, if not thousands of years. Now, some of you are probably thinking, well, if they're so powerful, then how comes their weakness is fire? Well, actually, it isn't. I have actually done a video on this before, so I'll put a link in the description for the full story. But the short version is that the Martians were so insanely powerful and so feared by the Guardians of the Universe that the Guardians put a psychic suggestion on them to make them think that they were weakened by fire in order to keep them in check. This is because they aren't actually weakened by fire, they're actually made stronger by it. Once a Martian is able to get past the psychic block and set themselves on fire, they become practically unstoppable, with an insane level of power. They also become a hell of a lot more barbaric and a hell of a lot more violent. They are a very aggressive species when set on fire. But when they're not on fire, the Martians are actually quite peaceful species, which is even more reason to keep them afraid of it because otherwise they could have easily conquered the galaxy, and they probably would have done, which is exactly why the Guardians did this. But really, the Martians are just an amazing species. They have almost every superpower that there is, and definitely have all the ones that people want. And every single member of their species has all of these powers, which really makes them a force to be reckoned with. Though I do have to say that this power-up they get from fire is only in the main DC universe, and this has been changed in different continuities. The Guardians of the Universe One of the oldest species in the universe, and according to some continuities, they're actually the very first species in the universe. And they also seem to be able to live forever. They have amazing powers, including teleportation, time travel, interdimensional travel, energy absorption, telekinesis, healing, phasing, energy projection, telepathy, size manipulation, force fields, and the power to harness pure willpower an ability that they have used to create the Lantern Core rings, and of course the Lantern Core itself. And they're also able to alter their shape and their own genetic makeup, and they can also alter the genetic makeup and evolution of other species to change them in almost any way, which is pretty much what they did to the Martians to make them a little bit weaker. And that's not all the powers they have. They also possess cosmic awareness, allowing them to view other parts of the universe at will, and to sense oncoming threats and dangers, they can also siphon off other people's abilities and energy and their life force, and they can even give their own life force to other creatures to heal them. And in some cases, they can extend other creatures' lifespans. 
They can also manipulate light and project holograms over great distances, which means they have an absolutely insane amount of abilities. And while it is true that these abilities depend on the continuity, because in a lot of versions of the DC Universe, the Guardians aren't this powerful. But in the main DC Universe, they have at one point or another been shown to have all of these abilities. So given the fact that they're immortal and their insanely long list of abilities, it's easy to see how they rank higher than all the other species of the universe and why they're in the top spot on this list. Because every single member of their species has these abilities, and most likely more. After all, being immortal means more and more powers are likely to emerge over time, especially if they develop their powers further. In fact, it's possible that the fact they are immortal is the reason they have so many abilities, and to begin with, they probably didn't have so many powers, but have got them over time. Now, you may be wondering why in a lot of stories they don't seem to use any of these powers. Well, this is probably partly due to the writers not knowing about them, as they've happened over quite a lot of years. And of course, the plot of the story means they can't because, well, it would kill the story. But all the powers I've listed, they have displayed in the past. So I've had no choice but to count them as abilities of this species. And because of that, they are just the best species in the universe, or at least the most powerful anyway. And lastly, I want to give a shout out to the Zarnians, the most famous of course being Lobo, as he murdered the rest of his species. Now I haven't actually included them in this list because Lobo is kind of an exception to his race. He's a lot stronger and a lot more powerful and a lot more aggressive than the rest of his race. And while it is true that the rest of his species are still very strong with heightened abilities and very good healing powers, Lobo is still way more powerful than the rest of his species. So don't think of him as a fair comparison for how the rest of them are. After all, he is so strong that he was able to murder his entire species single-handedly, which kind of shows how much more powerful he was. And it's in part because of this that Zarnians fall short of the other species on this list. Though I have to say it was a close call, and I did almost include them because they're still a pretty powerful species. Though personally I think the best species to be on this list is Martian, mainly because of their shape-shifting and telekinesis, as they are two of my favourite abilities. And combined with their longevity and regeneration powers, well, to me they're just the best species there is. And if I had the choice, I would 100% want to be one. But which one of these species would you prefer to be? And are there any other species that you think are more powerful that should have been included? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.